Halloween is lurking right around the corner. <laughs> And while things might be a little bit different this year, it just means we have to get creative with how we celebrate and decorate. Martha Stewart Living Senior Editor Elsie Moody has some super cute and easy ways to make this Halloween one to remember. Take a look. Hey guys, I'm Elise Moody. I'm a senior editor at Martha Stewart Living, and I'm here to share a couple fun ideas from our October issue to get you in the Halloween spirit. Let's start with these bottles. They're made of infinity glass, which is a dark colored glass that actually helps keep whatever's inside fresh longer. It also makes it look a little spooky, which is fun for Halloween. So go ahead and decant your rum, your vodka, and whatever you have on hand, your gin into these guys. And then to help you tell which is which, we created some really fun stickers you can get on our website. Go to MarthaStewart.com backslash poison liquor labels, print them, cut them out, and just stick them right on. They look like this. So you'll get a full sheet. Then you can cut them out and put them right on your bottle. As for what to drink, try a bitter martini. It's a classic gin martini that we add a little bit of Amaro to to give it this cool Halloween-y amber color. So Amaro is an Italian liqueur that has an herbal kind of floral taste. So even if you don't like gin martinis normally, I bet you're going to like this one. You're going to need gin, Amaro, a cocktail shaker, some ice, some cocktail onions, and pimento olives to make the garnish. So shake up your martini from the gin and Amaro, then pick up your cocktail onion, Take a paring knife and cut a small well into the side. You're just gonna hollow out about a half inch space. After you've done that, you're gonna cut off the tip of one of the pimento olives, just big enough to fit inside, and stuff it right in that hole. You're gonna make two of these for each drink. The end result looks a little something like this. Googly eyes for your cocktail. As for decorating the rest of your house, we have a couple fun ideas that are really easy to make. One of them just involves a house plant like this guy. This is my snake plant. Nothing scary to write home about here. So all you need to spookify him is a round object, anything you can paint white and hot glue to a chapstick. I happen to have some avocados, so I used the pit. Painted them white, gave them a black pupil, and you get a little something like this. Again, they're just hot glued right on the chapstick. You let them dry and then poke them in like this. There we go. And then this guy is ready to keep watch all month long. If you want to make a bigger version, say tuck some eyes in your fireplace, out in the garden, anywhere you want to add a little spooky flair, you can use a dried gourd or a pumpkin. Just paint them white the same way, add a black dot, and you're ready to go. Halloween night may be a little bit different this year, but kids are still going to want to dress up, and they're still definitely going to want to have candy. So we wanted to create some fun ways to dress up their costumes a little bit, too. And in our October issue, you're going to find four really fun ideas for treat carriers that you can make at home from really simple materials that you already have on hand. The main ingredient is something I bet you have a lot of. I know I do. Plain cardboard boxes like this guy. We've got one for a kitty, one for a puppy, one for a shark. My favorite of the bunch is actually this one. It's a rainbow. So all you need to add is a gingham dress, ruby slippers, optional puppy, and your kid is ready to click her heels all the way down the street. For more fun Halloween ideas, pick up our October issue or go to our website, MarthaStewart.com. I'm Elise Moody, Senior Editor for Martha Stewart Living, and I hope you have a great Halloween. Well, thank you, Elise. Yeah, some cute, cute ideas there. Martha Stewart Living is published by the parent company of this television station, that is the Meredith Corporation. I did not know that. I did not know that we own love. You didn't know that? I did not know yeah. that. Yeah.